seen Taylor Swift's new music video? No. Read about it, but... I've seen it, yeah. Are you a Swiftie? No, no, no. <laughs> not Swiftie for sure. <laughs> oh, hi! Hello. Hello! Welcome, join us! We were just talking about Taylor Swift's new music video and her new venture into owning her own music. And speaking about Taylor Swift... Wait, is this quartz? <laughs> no, this is not quartz. This is actually Sintered Slab. It has a matte texture, which is like more comfortable to touch and feel. And the surface feels smoother as well. Very comfortable. Right now, we're here in the HDB Maisonette. And I'm here with the team from iPoise. I'm Eugene. And I'm Nicole. And I'm Shen. And today, we'll show you how we can transform a large space into something that's very easy to upkeep. Wow, Eugene, looking very fabulous. You know, besties. <laughs> yeah, besties. <laughs> very comfortable, right? Actually, now we're at the entrance of the house and we have a beautiful settee over here. I noticed the tiles, they are very interesting. Because we wanted to sort of blend the entrance area with the kitchen, we did the tiles in like a spaced out manner. We especially got our tiler to actually even cut the hexagonal shapes into the big tiles. If you guys actually look at this low-high cabinet, we have the shoe storage here. And then there's even more shoes in this L-shaped corner here. <laughs> what we did here was actually give them a door with 180 degree hinges so that they can still walk through this small space. It's not so crammed with the door like 90 degrees like this. And then maybe they want to try to go out. This door is where they keep all their snacks, really? which we also included 180 degree hinges so it's easier for them to access and pull out. Wow, it's almost like, like a little pantry area. Yes, it's like a mini pantry for them. So they actually can have a lot of storage to keep their stuff and then it's all very organised. Then you can see like the LED lights here as well which sort of highlight the space and it's brighter. When they cook, right, at night especially, it's not so dark. Wow. And then we also concealed the switches because this is a sort of semi-wet-ish uh -huh. area. The switches are actually here, inside the cupboard itself. Whoa. Yeah. They have the oven switches here as well. The switches are concealed. I'm wondering, where are the pipes? Okay, let me show you one of them. One of them is in this tall cabinet here. When you open it, the pipe is here, inside. Oh, I see! Yeah. We made it look like it was part of the kitchen. You can't really tell that there's actually a pipe here. Yeah. And we even did the colour matching of the laminates, like you see half-half. So it really matches the whole thing and it feels more seamless. Super seamless. I thought this was another like snack cabinet or yeah, something. Yeah, like you can actually think, you, oh maybe you keep stuff here, right? But actually it's just the pipes. Okay, then how about this side? This oh. small area is the rubbish. <gasps> yeah. Okay. It's like here and then this small area, maybe they can put like small plants or something to display. On the topic of like concealing pipes, there is one more pipe here, right in this cabinet. When you open up, the pipes are at the back and there is some space between the pipes and the front part. We actually boxed up with carpentry in a sense to give them more storage as well. So it's not just for the aesthetic wise, but it's a functional thing as well. And then they have like open shelves right beside it to display some items. It kind of like makes this space feel a bit more cozy. Instead of the standard dining table, we actually created an island. This island and also if you look at the back, it's seamless so that it gives a very open look to the design. Yeah, and I feel like you know, I can feel a light breeze, I can see natural light. How is the space transformed? So actually, this whole area was in multiple sections. They had like a washing area that was like cordoned off with walls. And there was a utility area here that was also like boxed up. So actually, we wanted to make the whole place feel more open. So we hacked down almost every single possible wall in the first floor. This whole place feels bigger and it feels more like open concept.
Eugene, where are you, Eugene? Are you? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hi. Hi. You're literally in a cave. Yeah, I am, and I am getting my savages in the game, and yeah, I'm done. Hi. Wow, you're literally in a man cave. Yeah, this area is actually a place that we built up for the, our client's son. Mm -hmm. His requirement is that he wanted a place where he could hide away and have his own personal space. Like you, just now. Yeah. Gaming. <laughs> Every guy's dream. Every guy's <laughs> dream. So I see that there's some light over there. Yeah, we actually played around with lighting. So those lights are actually smart lights. Uh -huh. You can actually control them using your phone app and they can be any colour you want. So I can see that other than it being a cave, well, you're sitting on also a storage area, right? Yeah, these are all storage everywhere. Smart storages for him. So it's not just a bed area, but he can also store books. He can store all his miscellaneous stuff. All right, enough playing games with Eugene. <laughs> so actually, let me talk to you about the common bathroom. We did like sort of a playful kind of design. We played with the tabletop material and we played with the handles as well. And the colours actually match the kitchen. We use similar laminates here and there so that the house has a flow as well. And welcome to the master bedroom. Super spacious! I love the bed here by the way. It's super aesthetic. You see that there is this like common theme that runs throughout the house and that's your playful handles. Yes, exactly that. These handles, we wanted to sort of carry the flow throughout the house. So we actually used it in a few different places, the bathrooms, the bedrooms, to sort of give that constant like design. Mm -hmm. And then actually the groove lines also, we did it on the cupboard. And then what's the most special about this cupboard is that one door is big and one door is small. So it's really custom made for them. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I know why one door is big, one door is small. This door has to be small because it leads directly to the master bathroom. Wow, this whole space is like a spa feels, you know, spa concept and you can take long showers and then the water doesn't even come out here, right? Exactly. You notice the tabletop, we also play with a different type of terrazzo. This also has that like slightly playful element. Whoa, what's this? So for that one, um, it's something very, very unique here because the painter, the artist for this is actually Nicole. Oh! The, the daughter actually told us a, a, some sort of concept that she wants, something that she kind of liked. She sent us some photos. Nicole was here drawing on this wall and editing it. And then once it's done, the painter just traced the lines. Yeah. We have an artist here. <laughs> it's very nice. For her room, actually, the main thing what we did was to create a lot of storage for her. This whole bed that we're sitting on is actually storage. And then the ceiling is actually one of the other features in this room. The owner's daughter actually requested for like a greyish tone instead of just doing the normal white. And she also requested for some recessed lighting. And it's also colour changing. I heard that the owner actually, they were thinking of whether moving completely, like moving to another place completely or to get a makeover. And I guess, as you can see right from the entire tour of the place, sometimes all you need is actually just like a new skin, a new makeover yeah. rather than moving, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I was speaking, we were speaking with the owner uh, before the entire project and he was just sharing with us that he was looking around, trying to see if uh, a, a new property would be more viable uh, or to stay here and actually what he him and his family found out was that condos or like even other HDBs, BTOs are really really small as compared to this place and his family and himself cannot get used to the, the size change so because of that he decided that you know why not just redo the whole place How was the redoing of the whole place like? It's really amazing because the whole place really feels like a 360 change. So the whole house really feels a lot more homey to them also. It's really more towards what they like. Because I believe the previous one, they only did a small reno when they moved here. Mm. So a lot of it was like the original house or it was like the previous owner, stuff like that. I guess this is really more of them. 
mm. in the house as well. Feels very cozy, and every part of the 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 place, like the rooms, they really reflect the personality of the owners. Yeah. So, I have one question: What is your favorite part of this house? Mine would actually be the son's room. Oh. It's really like a dream growing up, right? Where you have your own personal space. How about you? <laughs> I don't know if it would be surprising, but I also really like the son's room because I feel like it's a very cozy and like small space. And it's very good to like watch movies there or like invite friends over with like that platform bed concept. Just chill. And I love the videos. yeah, and the privacy is like yeah, important for growing children, yeah. right? Well, mine is actually the toilet. I love the counters. So beautiful, so playful. A lot of toilets we see nowadays are like monocolor or like at most two colors, right? But this is the first time in my life I've seen such a colorful countertop for the basin area and the spa concept. Really beautiful. We've come to the end of our little tour of this HDB Masonette. And thank you to iPoise, and we'll see you again. See you. Bye bye.